All right, so in the face of cosmic mapping, still not having uploaded Cooking Whispers, um, I've decided to take it for myself and make a cooking video. Um, cosmic, upload Cooking Whispers, you still haven't done your 10k special, and um, that's unacceptable. And now I'm going to pay you back, because um, today I'm going to cook falafel, an Arabian dish, and um, all that you're going to need I have right here and back there. Um, so the main ingredients are going to be chickpeas. Um, make sure to pile dried ones and rehydrate them because the ones that you can get like from a can and so on, because they're really mushy, um, the falafel are not going to get the right consistency. So um, by the wild ones, with most of them, you have to rehydrate them over 12 hours. I did that um, last evening. Just poured the water out and then let them dry a bit here. And then um, this, this is for um, one or two persons. I got 160 grams, that was the rest of the chickpeas I still had. And um, for 160 grams, what I use is one small onion, three um, cloves of garlic, just got more because this one is rather old and I don't know if it's fine. Um, old toast, I forgot that yesterday, um, that's why I just toasted it and let's hope all goes well. Um, some cilantro, um, cumin, black pepper, could also use white one, that makes a difference. Um, baking powder, some flour, olive oil because we're going to um, fry these, but I'm going to use an air fryer because that's easier. And yeah, that's about it. So let's get going. So the first thing we are going to do is chop up this onion. And um, because I am powerful, I don't need to make this because I can just um, count to one. And to then when I say um, zero, then the onion is going to be chopped up, no problem. So three, two, one, zero. So um, I chopped up the onion. Ideally, you want to have a sharp knife and an onion that's not um, short of um, the time of its lifespan, because um, this was a mess. Um, but I did it. They also don't need to be that fine because the frying them, I'm going to mix them together and crush them up anyway. Um, but also just come to mind if you have a kitchen machine that can mix shit, then this task becomes trivial because then just take um, all the ingredients I have, throw them in, and then you're done. But um, next thing I'm going to do is um, get a free cloth of garlic. And also I can do that with magic um, in three, two, one, zero. So I've already mixed up the onion and the um, garlic. And as you can see, I think that's a sign that the garlic was a little bit old, um, but doesn't matter because you're going to use fresh um, garlic and that's all my problem. So um, now that we've done that, you can also chop up um, the toast if you want. I'm going to do that off screen too. But um, now let's get to the actual part of making this um, and the, those are um, crushing up the chickpeas for that because I don't have anything better in my house I would I'm going to use um, mini mix I believe these are called um, if you have a proper thing to um, crush these up then by any means please use it because um, this is a little bit hideous to use but um, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go to the part where I put in all the spices and the garlic and well technically the garlic is going to come in there but you know the spices when I'm going to put those in then I'll be back right for you so until then let's go all right so now that the chickpeas have been crushed into a paste I'm going to add all the um, condiments and spices and flour and whatever uh, so what I forgot at the beginning um, I need parsley um, so yeah, so um, now to the condiments. The first one you're going to need a tablespoon of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of cilantro. The first one, if you can see already, I dropped in there accidentally. One and a half teaspoons of cumin. 
tablespoon of citrus concentrate, which part of it I also already dropped into the bowl. A tablespoon of parsley. One and a half tablespoons of flour, of which the first one I also already accidentally dropped into the bowl. Around a tablesp um, tablespoon of salt. And like a teaspoon of um, black pepper. I use a tablespoon, but it should be around the quantity. And all that's left to do is to mix everything of this together, knead it, and then shape it into walnut-sized balls. Um, of course, if you know what you're doing, um, you can vary the amounts of condiments you want to put in, maybe even a little bit more salt or a little less pepper. Um, just do it to a taste. Um, you can also, after you've mixed it, you can taste it um, as it is and see whether you want to add anything. But this is around the uh, um, stuff that I usually use Sometimes more, sometimes less, but if you just want to follow strictly the recipe, you can do that. So um, I see you when we have finished kneading and shaping the balls. So now I have finished um, making the falafels. And as you can hear from the background, I'm on right now preheating the air fryer. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, coat these in olive oil. This step you can skip if you are actually deep frying them, because then you just have the oil from the deep fryer. Then we're going to put them into the air fryer for around 20 minutes until the crust is golden brown. And then they're ready to serve. And we we'll see us when I'm going to plate these up. So, till then, let's go. All right, so this is how they look um, when they're finished. Um, and I've decided to serve them together with a side of some carrot salad, which if you want to make it yourself, um, just boil a bunch of carrots, um, cut them up, some, add some onions, some pepper, some salt, and some vinegar, and you're done, and also some sour cream. But you can pretty much make anything with it. So you can make a green salad, you can make a traditional Mediterranean meze, um, that's like how they are traditionally served. But anyways, that was it. Um, falafel is a really great, um, also vegan dish with this, probably not so much vegan anymore, but the falafels themselves are um, completely vegan. And they're especially good because of the chickpeas as they are a great source of protein. But anyways, as always, I hope um, you have enjoyed the video. I hope you have a fantastic day and goodbye.